WKBN 27 First News Network, home of the High School Basketball Starting Five Award and the best overall sports coverage in the Valley. Flats and in, scoops it up and in. She's got it, up and good. This is the WKBN High School Basketball Game of the Week, Monday edition. Sponsored by Stadium GM on My YTV. Inside the friendly confines of Struthers Fieldhouse, it is a special presentation of the WKBN High School Basketball Game of the Week tonight. Two of the best girls programs in the entire valley will face off as Columbiana, checking in at 20-1, and one, pays a visit to 17-3 and three Struthers. Hi again, everybody. Chad Krispinski alongside Will Klusenik. Let's take a look at our keys to the game, which are brought to you by Youngstown Phantoms Hockey. And, Will, we should expect to see plenty of transition here on the floor tonight. Plenty of transition. You know, both teams play great defense, and we're going to see if some of that defense leads to offense. And right now, Columbiana is going to need to rebound the rock. Athlet you know, Struthers has a lot of athleticism, a lot of height. They're going to have to do a good job of checking out. And then finally, what a great game to get you ready for the tournament. Both coaches emphasizing to me earlier this Afternoon, they said, you know what? Look, the most important thing is postseason play. Both of them are battling the bumps and bruises, and they're also battling some illness, as are so many from throughout the area here. And so their main focus is on breaking out those brackets. Make no mistake about it, they want to get a win here tonight, which would be quite a statement. Yeah, definitely. If Columbia can, can come out on top here, you know, they're the third seed in their district behind Salem and South Range. So they're looking to improve, to get better, to work defensively, and we're going to see if they're able to do that tonight. But we also saw Struthers when we did the game of the week with Poland, and we were very impressed with Struthers and their athleticism. Columbiana comes into this one having won nine straight games. Meanwhile, Struthers has won 10 of its last 11. This will be Columbiana's final regular season game. They'll get back to action in the sectional final against the winner of Girard and Mineral Ridge. Meanwhile, Struthers will get right back to action tomorrow night as part of a doubleheader with the boys' team with all those snow outs and weather changes. Uh, that has caused some teams to try and squeeze some games into the regular season here over the last several weeks. So sit back, relax, and enjoy some girls' high school basketball as we take a look at the starting lineups for this one. Columbiana and Struthers getting set to do battle, as Will alluded to. This is a very, very athletic Struthers squad. Kayla Brown was tremendously impressive. Trinity McDowell was a force underneath for the Clippers. Well, we saw Kayla Maslovsky just last Thursday night. She put on a show 13 points, one of the quickest players in the area, and one of the best defensive players as well. And that's what I'm going to try to look at tonight, how well she's able to go up against some of this athleticism. She's a great competitor, you know, and, and Struthers has a lot to bring to the table with Coach Grandy's squad, so we're in for a good one tonight. Opening tip is controlled by Struthers. And the Wildcats will have it. This is Kayla Brown. Into the paint, it is a jump ball called as Brown tried to take it right off the dribble. Good tie up, and the possession arrow will point the way of Columbiana. And that's positive for Columbiana. Brown gets it up in the high post. Going to try to use that athleticism and get to the rim, but they do get the tie-up. And now we're going to see Columbia and try to move the ball here a little bit. They were patient last time we saw them, and we're going to see if they're going to continue to have that same type of patience getting to the hoop. This is Fulham. There's a takeaway by Struthers. It's Kiesia Chisholm threading the needle underneath. She ends up back with it and sticks it back up and in. Deflection by Cross. But Struthers there, right place, right time, and Chisholm gets the early bucket. Clipper basketball. This is Mazlovsky. Mazlovsky looking for a screen, and it is a five-second call. And that's the difference right there, Chad, what we're seeing. Just some of that athleticism. You know, Struthers able to stay in front of some of the Columbiana ball handlers. Alexis Burry. Controlling things at the point. Ball is knocked free by Maslovsky. Back to Burry, and we have a whistle and a foul. 
called against Kayla Maslovsky. First foul. And, and she showed you a little bit of her hands right there with that deflection. Got a little bit too antsy to get that foul. And, and that's one of those where you, know, you got to make sure you don't pick up some of those cheap ones early on. Burry over to Kiesa Chisholm. Into the hands of McDowell in traffic. Brown puts it up and in. And what a great look by McDowell. Gets to the short corner. Finds the teammate rolling down for another easy bucket with Struthers. 4 nothing in favor of Struthers. Lumbiana trying to get on the scoreboard. And it's another turnover as Alexis Cross is called for the walk. We were so impressed with all the many weapons that Struthers had at its disposal in that win earlier on our game of the week at Poland. Topside Burry. Slices, dishes, underneath, nicely done again, Kayla Brown. And you love the pass by Burry. One-handed threads the needle. Another high percentage shot and about to get another run out. Burry to the line, to the lane, puts it up off the rim, no good. Burry tracks down that offensive rebound. This is McDowell who scoops it up and in. And a timeout has been called by Ron Moschella. And with 5.57 to play here in the opening quarter, it's been a track meet, and it's been all Wildcats to this point. And, you know, you, you, when you get those type of shots, those point-blank shots, you know, Burry draws the defense, you know, gets into the zone, finds the gap, and Brown's able to finish it off. Struthers couldn't ask for a better start. I mentioned earlier, as you see, Coach Grandy, he told me he's been battling a little flu bug uh, along with some of his players. His squad has won 10 of the last 11, and boy, can they light up the scoreboard over the course of the last four. They've put up 70 points or more in each of those outings. They're playing their best basketball at just the right time. And, and you like to see that. You know, they, they had to get so much confidence from that Poland game you know, that we saw earlier in the year, but just really love their athleticism. They play hard on both ends of the floor. You know, they understand what Coach Grandy wants, uh, and very unselfish. Kiesia Chisholm with another takeaway. Chisholm feeds it right side. It won't go. Chisholm cleans it up and sticks it in. And there's that ath uh, athleticism, you know, and the unselfishness. Finds Brown unable to capitalize. Chisholm gets it right back for the rebound put back. 10-0 Struthers. Fulham into the paint. Feeds it. Left low block off the miss. McDowell comes up with the rebound. And there is a foul called on Columbiana's Taylor Hall. And again, if you're Columbiana now, you're, you're thinking about, okay, defensively, you know, we've got to make sure we can test some of these shots, make them shoot some more difficult shots, you know, and, and get a couple looks for ourselves. But they're just doing everything right, finding the open player. Excellent cut by Brown. Going to head to the free throw line. Foul is called on Tessa Liggett of Columbiana. And so that's going to send... Kayla Brown to the free throw line. Brown, a very strong player to the basket. Very quick, strong defensive player. She's a 54.3% free throw shooter. And the one thing you can count on when you see Kayla Brown play is effort. She hustles up and down the floor throughout. And there's an example of that hustle there. Off the free throw miss. Struthers will control. Kayla Brown works it over to Burry. Burry back to Brown. Slicing into the paint. Feeding it to Chisholm. This is Buser. And now McDowell. McDowell walked for the basketball. And it'll go back to Columbiana as the Clippers try to get on the scoreboard. You know, McDowell had the right idea. She got the first shot off like that going to the right. As a, as a post player, you've got to make sure you chin it. You got to before you put the ball on the ground, check and see where you can make the move. Mazlowski, clear path, put it up and in. And that's what they need, Mazlowski, to, to get on board here, to get going. And she's kind of that catalyst, you know, gets a couple steals defensively, gets some easy buckets, get the teammates involved. McDowell cleans it up. Off the rim, no good. And the rebound comes down to Taylor Hall of Columbiana. And now working ahead to Mazlowski. It is a nine-point lead for Struthers. This is Liggett. Outside to cross. Thought about the three. Thought better of it. She put it up around and it falls off. She'll go to the line for two. 
And that's one of the things that Clemban is trying to do is really look to attack, get themselves to the free throw line, and get some of those high percentage shots. That's why you see them being so patient. Alexis Cross averaging right around 17 points per game. And she puts it up and in. She's a pretty darn good free throw shooter as well. Right near that 81% mark. Free throw up, free throw good for Cross. It's 11 to 4 in favor of Struthers. Here's Kayla Brown fighting it up and won't go. Off the miss, we have a tie up and a jump ball, and this time the possession arrow points the way of the Wildcats. So the ball is into Trinity McDowell. Here's Chisholm feeding Burry. And we have the ball out of bounds. 3.57 left to play here in the opening quarter. It's a seven-point lead for Struthers on the WKBN High School Basketball Game of the Week. Apply now for a no-obligation car loan at StadiumGM.com. It's the best sales event of the year. It's Auto Show Bonus Time at the Stadium GM Superstore. Right now, you can lease a new double cab four-wheel drive GMC Sierra for only $189 a month with zero down. A new Buick Encore is only $199 a month with zero down. A new GMC Terrain is only $229 a month with zero down. And a new GMC Acadia is only $239 a month with zero down. Plus, bring in your trade-in for more money than anywhere else. All at the store that always saves you more. The Stadium GM Superstore in Salem. Pediatric interventional radiology can help prevent some kids from having to go to surgery. Instead of doing an incision that might require stitches, we can do a procedure that just requires a small bandage when we're done. There's less pain after the procedure, they recover quickly, and most of my patients go home on the same day. You know, when my patients thank me when they come out of the operating room because they don't have pain anymore, that's the most rewarding part about my job. Three minutes and 57 seconds left to play in the opening quarter. Off the inbounds, Caleb Brown with an easy look and an easy two to increase the Struthers' lead to 13-4. to four. And again, the Wildcats getting whatever looks they're wanting here in the first quarter. And that's tough if you're Columbia because right now, you know, they're getting one shot and out, and Struthers are, is getting point-blank shots. It'll be very difficult to get back into the game here when they're getting such high percentage shots. Chisholm in rhythm for threes, he's got it. And then when you get wide open ones and knock them down, Struthers on point. 12 point lead for Struthers. Cross spinning in the paint. And it is a whistle and a Struthers foul. And it's Kayla Brown. And it's number one on Brown. And so back to the free throw line. We'll step Alexis Cross. And that one is up and no good off the rim. Struthers will go to the bench. It's Renee Leonard checking in. Cross splits the pair. And it's now 16 to five in favor of Struthers. And Burry. I thought maybe she was fouled. We have a timeout call before anything. So 3-10 left to play here in the opening quarter. It is 17-4. And you look at each side and in the eye test, you can tell the size advantage clearly on the side of Struthers. How do you counter that? You know, it, it, it's very difficult, obviously, to counter the size and athleticism. You know, but it, when you're Columbiana, you, you're coming in, you've got to kind of have that chip on your shoulder. You know, I know Coach Michelle does, you know, and he doesn't expect anything less from his girls. You know, sometimes when you get that look in your eye that, hey, you know what, we're playing a bigger school, maybe more athletic, and, and sometimes that gets in your head and you can't let it. You know, and, and sometimes you just got to get after it and, and make some plays to build some of that confidence, just like that. Tholem comes up with the steal, but she stepped on that baseline, and 
It's going to go back to Struthers. Ball is into McDowell, who raises up. Off the glass and in. Off the window, another bucket on the baseline out of bounds. Struthers taking advantage of that. Hall, shot blocked. There's that interior defensive play from McDowell that we've seen all season long. Bounce pass underneath to Brown. Burry tracks it down, scoops it up off the bottom of the rim. No good. Ahead of the pack, a run out by Maslowski, who puts it up and in. And they're going to need more of that to run out defense leading to offense. You know, but right now, Struthers handling the pressure, not phased really at all. And sometimes when you put the ball on the, on the floor like that, you can run into trouble. Ball is out of bounds. It'll stay here off Columbiana. Struthers back to the bench. Trinity Farrar will replace Trinity McDowell. Off the miss, it's cleaned up, and it is an over-the-back call against Farrar. So it'll go back to Columbiana with 2.18 to play. 11-point lead for Struthers at the moment. This is Maslovsky. So Hall. Now Fulham. Off the dribble, Hall is cut off to cross. Outside Liggett. Three ball, no good. And ahead to Burry for Struthers. There it passes, tracked down. Underneath towards Brown. Ends up in the hands of Cross. Cross whips it ahead to Maslovsky, who fires for three. Back edge, no good. Things out of whack just a little bit now. You know, and, and sometimes you, you take some of those shots. I mean, you got to take them, but I know Coach Michelle probably not happy with the transition three right there. But you're going to have to loosen up the defense somehow and, and maybe make it one or two of them. Brown tracks it down and fights it up and in. Because Struthers right now is getting any shot that they want. 20 to 7. 115 left in the opening quarter. Maslovsky. Cut off to Cross on the wing. Cross. Out to Fulham. Now Maslovsky slicing into the paint. Feeds it to Liggett. Now Cross, open look, and she put it in. And that's the type of ball movement. Just get one pass ahead. Cross with the easy baseline jumper. Knocks it in. Cuts it back to 11. Kayla Brown has it on the wing. And now back out front to Burry. Into the hands of Leonard. They feed it to Keasia Chisholm. And she's able to draw another foul. I think they just got Kennedy Fulham. And that is the case. Fulham picks up the personal. That's number one. Number four on the Clippers as a team. So Chisholm, very athletic player to the line. Puts it up and off. Clippers go back to the bench. Grace Hammond is checked in. We'll also get a look. And a couple of substitutions for Struthers. Buser is back in. Chisholm misses the free throw. You know, if you're looking at one of the, uh, you, know, you know, things that, you know, Columbiana can do, uh, again, Oslowski with the turnover. You know, Struthers are not a, a great free throw shooting team. So if they're getting it in there at point blank, you know, might want to try to foul a little bit, maybe get some possessions that way. So closing in, now underneath 30 seconds left in the quarter. This is Burry, over to Buser. They feed it to McDowell, back to Burry. Good ball movement from Struthers. A defensive pressure ratcheted up from Columbiana. Here's Burry, we're down to 11 seconds, entry pass, knocked away from Trinity McDowell. Five seconds, now four left, Grace Hammond loses her footing, and the ball trickles out of bounds with just over 1.5 seconds left. So here we go. Ball is into Maslovsky, and with that, the first corner is in the books. 
One quarter in the books here at Struthers Fieldhouse. It is 20 to 9, Struthers leading Columbiana on the WKBN High School Basketball Game of the Week. Stadium GM is proud to sponsor the High School Basketball Game of the Week. Nightline Embroidery and Screen Print in Girard has been a proud sponsor of the Player of the Game for over 10 years. For all of your personalized school or business apparel, event and business signs and posters, they've got you covered. There's only one place to go, Nightline, West Liberty Street, Girard. On sale now. Get a gift certificate to Iana's Owns Pizza in Niles for 50% off. Enjoy delicious pizza made from the freshest dough, perfectly blended cheese, and the best homemade sauce around. Iana's Owns doesn't just make great pizza. They also feature juicy wings, salads, and other specialty items. A perfect meal for lunch or dinner. Get this half-off deal with no fees right now at MyValleyDining.com. We have something for everyone. Amazing half-off deals. Sign up now for email notifications and start saving. Double Auto Show bonus cash is back at Sweeney. Choose from over 1,500 vehicles. Get to Sweeney right now and save 30% off MSRP on the 18 Chevy Cruze. That's incredible. 30% off the Lordstown built Chevy Cruze only at Sweeney, your cruise headquarters. Double Auto Show bonus cash is back. Click SweeneyCars.com or stop by Sweeney Chevrolet Buick GMC on Market Street in Bordenman. I think any kid loves the fact that when there's snow, it's, oh, are, are we going to have school tomorrow? You know, as you become an adult, it's more of a concern for treacherous roadways. Black ice can be a concern. I need to help people be prepared. I need to make sure that they know when it's hitting, that they know how much to expect, and that they know the impacts on them. It can be dangerous. This winter, trust WYTV on air, online, and on your phone. Sponsored by Northern Ohio Honda Dealers, Dallas Hartman Attorneys at Law, and Groover Roofing and Siding. Nightline Embroidery and Screen Print in Girard has been a proud sponsor of the Player of the Game for over 10 years. For all of your personalized school or business apparel, event and business signs and posters, they've got you covered. There's only one place to go, Nightline, West Liberty Street, Girard. And welcome back to Struthers Fieldhouse. As we're all set for the second quarter, they tried to fire it in and... We're still in all zeros there on the old scoreboard clock, and we distract a lot of people, Chad. I think we did. <laughs> There's been worse things said, I suppose, huh? Th that's true. Everyone can't have perfect timing like they did in the truck with the opening. Here's Fulham. She has her pocket picked. It's Kayla Brown. Ahead of the pack, Burry loses her footing, manages it to Buser. Here's Leonard to McDowell, off the glass. It won't go, but she'll go to the free throw line. Will McDowell. And you can see McDowell going to the right again. So if you're Columbiana, you might want to try to jump on that side and force her to go left. Might have a little better uh, opportunity there. Makes the first one. Trinity McDowell. According to John Grandy, has some college potential. He sees her potentially playing at the Division II or III level. She didn't start as a sophomore, but with those opportunities increasing, she's done a great job, and she's got another opportunity here. And she went over the back. That's not the kind of opportunity she wanted. No, and, and we've seen her uh, in the previous game against Poland and, and really had a, a nice game. I believe it was around 20 points and 16 rebounds. Very athletic, but you can see, you know, again, still has a lot of potential, a lot of room to grow uh, and, and to understand the game, but does a fantastic job. Off the Maslovsky miss. Here come the Wildcats. Caleb Brown in rhythm. The Struthers team has a great instinct of knowing where everybody's going to be where they want the ball. And they do a great job of attacking. And Columbia has got to do a better job of, of stopping the ball. And you can see right there with Leggett. And that's going to be her second foul. Uh, a very interesting shot there by Brown. It has a little... The free if, throw technique you're talking? Yeah, technique. If you're not used to it, it might pull some people in. But she does it all the time. So, again, it's not something she's trying to trick people with. Came up short on that second try. It's 22 to 9 in favor of the Struthers Wildcats. 
Off the dribble, it's Hall. Shot blocked by McDowell. And that's her second block. And what a weapon to have defensively that any type of penetration, you know she's back there and she's going to have your uh, back in defense. Ball is into Liggett. Now Hall back to Tessa Liggett. Back around to the top of the key. This is Maslovsky. She takes it right of the lane. And now back outside that three-point line to Hall. And now Maslovsky who goes baseline. She feeds it to Liggett. And it's off Liggett's fingertips. Out of bounds. Back to Struthers. Very difficult to, to get inside the paint you know, and get a quality look off with that size and athleticism of Struthers in there. Renee Leonard, coast to coast, put it in. And that's, a, that's what they're getting right now. High percentage, coast to coast. Coming in, not doing a good job of stopping the ball. Leslovsky trying to answer back, can't put it in. Offensive rebound by McDonough. She can't put that one in. Opportunities for Columbiana, but the Clippers haven't been able to take advantage. Down to 6.14 left in the first half. And we have three seconds called on Struthers, so give it right back to the Clippers. And use the officials going to kind of give you the warning, make sure you're not staying in there. Got to follow the directives. Make sure you're not camping out in there. 24-9 to 9 is our score. And we have a double dribble call. And it goes right back to Struthers. Another one of those opportunities to cut into the deficit. You know, and right now, Columbiana just just looks a, a little out of sorts, you know, a little frustrated. You know, you talked about some injuries and, and some, some uh, you know, sickness and stuff, but right now, Struthers getting any look that they want. Off the miss, Liggett with the rebound. Up the floor, into the hands of Hammond, who raises up, that one too strong. Another rebound for Trinity McDowell. I had to Chisholm, Chisholm. Jump stop, and she fired it up over the backboard and everything. Out of bounds, but it'll stay right here with the Wildcats. And right now, Struthers, you know, getting all those 50-50 balls. You know, Columbiana not just not able to find, you know, the, the bottom of the net. Coach Grandy wants another 30-second timeout. 535 left to play. We'll keep it here. 24-9 in favor of Struthers. Say every week we'll pick the player of the game. It's one player that has made the greatest impact and is sponsored by Nightline Embroidery and Screen Printing. We'll feature the player of the game every Monday night at 11 on WKBN 27 First News. John Grandy has his squad playing some outstanding basketball. Struthers is the third seed. The Division II Austin Town Fitch District. Columbiana is the number three seed. We'll be playing right here at Struthers Fieldhouse in the D3 District Tournament. You know, when you talk about that Fitch District with West Branch 1, Howland 2, and Struthers 3, good luck. Yeah, you come out of there, you're, you're going to earn that one. Columbiana with a takeaway. This is Cross. Scooping it up and in. That's what they're looking for, a little transition. Maybe to jumpstart them a little bit. Nice hustle. There's that deflection again. Clipper defense on display. Maslovsky, great quickness. She put it up and in. And again, defense leading to offense. Getting a couple runouts. Getting a couple buckets. Feeling pretty good. There's that defense again. Liggett ahead to Maslovsky. She put it up, that one, up over everything. This is Burry. Burry slicing, firing, missing. Coach Michelle liked that one with a little tap. And, and this is more of the pace that we're used to seeing Columbiana. You know, again, the size, very difficult for Columbiana to get into that interior. So they're going to have to figure out a way to get some of those runouts and maybe knock down a, a long one or two. Liggett. Tried to save it in. But they'll say what? It's out of bounds. You know, and sometimes as coach is talking about right there, you can penetrate too deep, you know, and get yourself into trouble. Got to make sure, you know, you, one or two dribbles, make your decision and get rid of it. Just like that. Hammond, 
Firing for three. She's got it. I'll tell you what, to make that shot, fumbled the ball a little bit, you know, got herself under control. Great job by Hammond of getting set and knocking it down. That's a big shot for them right there. Getting it to eight points now. 24-16, 4.30 left in the second quarter. It's getting interesting now. It's brothers. It's amazing Chad what offense says. You get a couple buckets, you start playing a little harder on this end. Kayla Brown. Off balance shot, can't get it to go. Saved in by Chisholm, but it's right into that Columbiana bench. I mean, you got four minutes left here, and we talk about basketball being a game of runs. This is when you've got to understand your possessions, get quality shots, get yourself to the free throw line, you know, and not panic and think you've got to get a good one off because she's in there. Shot was blocked once again by McDowell. Wildcats have it to Chisholm. Here's Kayla Brown. Over to Murray. Murray back to Brown. 347, clock rolling in the first half. Eight points, Struthers lead. Kayla Brown able to draw the contact and the foul. And she will go and shoot two. And Brown might have got away with a little hook on him in there. 341 left to play here in the second quarter. And with that, we will take time out. Struthers 24, Columbiana 16. We'll bring you back to the field house after this on the WKBN High School Basketball Game of the Week. Good luck to all area teams from Stadium GN, proud sponsor of the Game of the Week. If it's not Barry Nichols, it's not barbecue. Funny name, fabulous food. Barry Dingles, Raccoon Road, Austin Town. Come to The Wrist Connection, the area's exclusive distributor of the Artist J. Made from recycled aluminum, every bracelet, necklace, and earring is a unique, one-of-a-kind piece. To make your Valentine's Day gift as special as the one you love, go to The Wrist Connection. Well, all gets fat on Tuesday. After all, it's Fat Tuesday as Polish Youngstown stops by with special donuts. And Christina has a Valentine's dinner waiting for you at Bogey's Bar and Grill. All on a sunny, warmer day. Daybreak. Yummy like a morning donut. Mm. More than just great Q. Funny name. Fabulous food. Barry Dingles. Austin Town. We come to you tonight from historic Struthers Fieldhouse. So much tradition in this building. You said it, Chad. I love the venue, man. What a great place to play hoops. Anytime you're here, it's, it's like it's a big game when you play here. So many big events over the years have been held. As Kayla Brown put that one up and in, when you talk about basketball, of course, they had the Golden Gloves tournaments. Yeah. You know, back over the years. And the thing about this gym, if you're not careful, the backdrop is what kind of messes you up a little bit. There's so much room behind the baskets. So if you're not used to shooting here, uh, it, it definitely can be an advantage for the home squad. 25-16 is our score. Maslovsky from the top of the key drops it in from deep. Those are the ones you'd like to see straight on. Those are the ones that you get comfortable with. And right now, you know, you love to see Columbiana fighting back and doing it defensively. Nearly another takeaway. And it's going to belong to Columbiana. There's Maslovsky in the thick of it all again. Uh, she has great hands. She's always got her hands deflecting, active. And we saw it, you know, the previous game, and we've seen it this game. Just has a knack, again, for not reaching in, but just being able to deflect passes, you know, and creating chaos. Cross, defended there by Brown. Top of the key cross is cut off by Chisholm and Brown. Maslovsky nearly walked right towards the baseline. Shot blocked, but Maslovsky follows it up. They're going to say it's a jump ball, and the possession arrow will give it to Struthers. But now Rob Luckland is going to come over, and the officials will discuss. Here's another look at it, Will. And she definitely goes up and down with it. And the block's there. Uh, 
I mean, they could actually let it let it go on. I mean, she lost a little bit of control of it. And it's... Yeah, and that's the right call by Rob Lachlan. That's an outstanding job by him. So he, yeah, perfect. Hammond to trigger it in. This is Cross. Now Maslovsky cut off, spins, and she walked with the ball. Coach Michelle wanted that one. He wanted that possession. So it goes back to Struthers with 242 left. Burry will race ahead of the pack. Here's Brown. Gets positioning, puts it up too strong. Offensive board tracked down by Buser. This is Burry. Back to Buser, firing three ball off the rim, no good. Another offensive board for Kiesia Chisholm. There's the steal by Cross for Columbiana. Cross will push it up the floor. They have it to him and firing in rhythm for three. Back edge, no good. Burry with a rebound for Struthers. Here comes Burry over to Chisholm, who stops and pops and misses. And the ball is out of bounds with 2.04 left to play in the first half. And right now, Struthers taking some shots. You know, they're, they're really letting Columbiana into this, and you can see Struthers shooting 58%, and Columbiana's picked it up a little bit at 43.8. Columbiana getting some higher percentage shots, getting a little more comfortable. Struthers taking a few deep ones here and really letting them off the hook. There's another interception by Maslovsky. Ahead of the pack, Maslovsky off the glass and in. It's amazing what happens when you take McDowell out of the game and you don't have that shot blocker and you can get up there and get those high percentage shots and cutting it to four, Chad. All of a sudden, it is a four-point ball game. Kayla Brown gathers, feeds in traffic. We have a whistle and a Colombiana foul as Trinity Farrar gobbled it up. And it'll be a Columbiana foul on Taylor Hall. You know, Chad, we talked about this. You know, that's probably not a bad play. That's the eighth foul. You know, uh, Trinity uh, Farrar, she's a 45% free throw shooter. So that might come into play here later on where they've got to make some free throws here uh, and make Struthers earn a few points. Free throw up. No good. Not only do you miss a free throw, you get the foul Pick call. Pick up a foul as yeah. well. Yeah. So that's the second on Brown. 137 left to play in the second quarter. You know, and Coach Michelle here has to be ecstatic. Things did not start well, but they oh. certainly are going very well for Columbiana now. Clippers trying to cut into this four-point deficit. If my, re my recollection, Chad, it was 24 to 9. It was. You're exactly right. Hammond comes up with it. They're going to say foul on the floor. The, the basket went in, but it doesn't count. And it'll be Buser picking up the personal. With 1.15 left to play here in the second quarter, that is the second on Michelle Buser. So now if you're Coach Michelle here, your defense has really picked up. You felt pretty good, you know, of, of the shots that you've been taking. You know, you've got yourself back into this game. Now, with a minute 15 left to go, you know, you've got to make sure you control the last minute 15, whether you want to hold for the last shot, whether you're looking to get the best high percentage shot that you can. You know, the worst case scenario you're hoping is that you go down four and you have the momentum coming out in that third quarter because... The way it started out, really didn't think you know, Columbiana could fight back into this. And boy, have they done a fantastic job. This Clipper squad is 20 and 1 for a reason. Absolutely. You could say the same thing about Struthers. They're 17 and 3 for a reason. Two really good teams. In one of the final regular season games, Maslovsky. Able to draw the contact and the foul. It's exactly what they were looking to do. Yep. And you start doing that. You start getting some of those easy points. You get yourself to the free throw line. Maslowski, a 68% free throw shooter. You know, these are the type of shots that, that build that confidence. 
Feel comfortable. Boy, is that a great stroke. Kozlovski puts it up and in. I've seen her. Tremendous abilities. Each of the last two weeks. Her defensive quickness. Reading those passing lanes and picking off passes and getting out in transition. And you always think Mozlowski is going to pick up that foul. She's always around it and somehow, you know, avoids that and, and really doesn't get herself too much in harm's way. This is Chisholm. Up to Burry. Into the corner. They now feed it underneath. Back to Burry. She can shoot it from deep. So can Chisholm. Inside the final minute of the second quarter. This is Buser and Burry. Down to 45 seconds. They give it to the free throw line. Nicely done. Off the glass and in for Farrar. And what made that shot so special was the footwork. She got ready before she got the ball. Maslowski feeds Hammond underneath McDonough. Easy look and an easy two. Hammond's been a great spark for Columbiana coming in and really doing a lot of things well. Great pass, finish. 27-24 is our score. Chisholm gives to Burry. See if Struthers holds for the final shot. Chisholm back to Burry. Feeding it underneath to Farrar. Contact, no foul. This is Maslowski. And with that, we have a carry called with 1.1 seconds left. <laughs> Helter Skelter we are. It was a nice call. Uh, he's giving high fives and slaps. My man. Oh, boy. Here's Burry. <laughs> Up no good. And with that, we head to halftime. Struthers 27, Columbiana 24. When we come back, our halftime festivities will begin. We've got a good one brewing here as we wind things down in the regular season of the WKBN High School Basketball Game of the Week. Buy your next vehicle at Stadium GM in Salem, where Zero Down delivers every day. Bring in your tax refund and save at the instant markdown sale at the Stadium GM Used Car Superstore. We've just made special purchases of Lordstown Belt Chevy Cruises starting from only $10,900, $10,900, and personal Chevy Equinoxes from only $199, $199 a month with zero down. Plus, we've got 200 cars from $99, $99 a month with zero down. Trucks from $159, $159 a month with zero down. And if you have bad credit from divorce, medical bills, or bankruptcy, we can help you get financed. So bring in your tax refund and get the lowest prices anywhere at the Stadium GM Used Car Superstore in Salem. Uh, why can't they make the insurance process easier? Did one of you fine folks say easy? He did. Excellent, because Aspen Dental is making things easier by working directly with your insurance, so you don't have to. I love easy. If easy's wrong, I don't want to be right. <laughs> We're a different kind of dentist. By working directly with your insurance so you don't have to, we're easier. Schedule now at 1-800-ASPEN-DENTAL. Howdy, I'm Charlie Staples. I'm Mars Staples. I'm Shan Staples. I just want you folks to come down to enjoy the Charlie Staples experience. Experience our famous barbecue ribs and chicken, full-service carryout and sports bar. Experience our unique full-service dining room and ask your grocery stores for your bottle of Charlie Staples barbecue sauce. In other words, Couple of, like I said, Charlie Staples Barbecue is more than just a restaurant. It's an experience. Helping our valley lead healthier lives. Join me, WYTV's Jim Loboy, at the Red Party Heartball, benefiting the American Heart Association. It's a night of dinner, dancing, and live entertainment. Saturday, February 24th at the Metroplex Expo Center. Get your tickets at youngstownheartball.heart.org. We'll celebrate lives like ours, touched by cardiovascular diseases and stroke. Be a part of the solution at the Red Party Heart Ball, February 24th. And we have reached halftime here at Struthers Fieldhouse. We got a good one brewing in girls' action. It is Struthers with a three-point lead over Columbiana at 27 to 24. Hi again, everybody. Chad Krasinski alongside Will Klusenik. It was a tale of two quarters, if yeah. you will. Started very well for Struthers, ended very well for Columbiana. You know, and it started with the defensive effort, and we knew that was going to be big for both teams. You know, they kind of started to ratchet it up in that second quarter, got a couple easy buckets, and got that momentum going. 
Let's take a look back at our keys to the game, which are brought to you by Youngstown Phantoms hockey, defense to offense. We saw plenty of that. Plenty of that. And when you look at the defense, that's what helped Columbia get back into this ball game. Rebounding, still a huge advantage right now for Struthers. And like you said, the fat last one here, the tournament tune-up. You're going to have to fight through a lot of different things come tournament time, and Columbiana showed a lot in that first half. Both of these teams are going to be much better having played in a game like this against the caliber of the opposition for both sides, depending upon which way you are looking at it. 27-24 is our score. Three-point lead for Struthers. When we come back, we'll break down the first half. You're watching live coverage of the WKBN High School Basketball Game of the Week. This halftime report is sponsored by Akron Children's Hospital, Mahoning Valley. Nightline Embroidery and Screen Print in Girard has been a proud sponsor of the Player of the Game for over 10 years. For all of your personalized school or business apparel, event and business signs and posters, they've got you covered. If there's only one place to go, Nightline, West Liberty Street, Girard. and even harder to find anywhere in our area. I'm Lindsay Watson. Coming up tonight at 11, I'll tell you what this holistic remedy is and why it's so popular this flu season. Will there be history tonight at Jackson Milton? One Blue Jays star looking to set the new school record for points. Will she do it? Find out tonight. After a cool start to the work week, we're going to tap into some of this warmer air off to the south. We have much warmer temperatures coming. I'll show you what to expect tonight at 11. The Majesty of South Korea. It's rich history and vibrant culture whose contributions and influence are felt throughout the world. Join us as we explore the wonders of this Asian destination, the exotic foods, the awe-inspiring architecture, and how this ancient kingdom has survived to become a focal point on this world stage. Watch Destination South Korea, Saturday night at 11.30 on 33 WYTV. Sponsored by Boardman Subaru and Trip Chiropractic and Nutrition. Nightline Embroidery and Screen Print in Girard has been a proud sponsor of the Player of the Game for over 10 years. For all of your personalized school or business apparel, event and business signs and posters, they've got you covered. If there's only one place to go, Nightline, West Liberty Street, Girard. Struthers Fieldhouse. Struthers with a 27-24 lead over Columbiana in a special Monday night presentation of the WKBN High School Basketball Game of the Week. Hi again, everybody. Chad Krispinski alongside Will Klusenik. A very entertaining half of basketball. And once again, this one's still hanging in the balance. It didn't look that way early. No, it didn't look that way. Struthers getting any shot that they wanted. A lot of runouts, high percentage shots. But that definitely shifted in that second half with a 15-3 run by Columbiana to get back into this game. Let's take a look at our first half numbers. By the way, our halftime festivities brought to you by Akron Children's Hospital. Mahoning Valley shooting numbers look this way. And you can see the turnovers, which settled down in that second quarter. You know, those high percentage shots we talked about with Struthers, but Columbiana getting the edge at the three-point contest there. The Wildcats were off and running early on in that first quarter. Kayla Brown was the big-time focal point. She was getting it done, especially on the inside. And on the interior, they got a lot of shots early on. Columbiana didn't have the answer, but they shored that up in the second quarter defensively. And you could see that rebound advantage. And again, that has a lot to do with McDowell on the interior, really distracting some of those players from Columbiana getting in there close. Kayla Maslovsky helped to will Columbiana back into this one. Her defense and also her offensive ability, this deep triple cut into that deficit even more. And they're going to need some of those shots to go. Also, some of those runouts to get them, you know, the momentum that they have to keep going. And you can see Maslowski with 12, Brown with 11, you know, two quality players in that half. It all adds up to a 27-24 lead here at the half of the third quarter next on the WKBN High School Basketball Game of the Week. You know, you can't fake this. Daybreak, weekdays, 5 to 7 a.m. 
If it's not Barry Dingles, it's not barbecue. Funny name, fabulous food. Barry Dingles, Raccoon Road, Austin Town. Looking for that carefree retirement lifestyle you deserve? Villa Living at Copeland Oaks offers beautiful, maintenance-free homes at affordable monthly rental. Enjoy friendly folks in a quiet, safe neighborhood setting. These charming, unique homes offer many amenities, plus all the benefits of community living. Fall in love with retirement living at its very best. Visit us online or in person to experience the Copeland Oaks difference. 33 News is looking to celebrate the people who help make our community a better place to live. And we need your help to find people throughout the valley that are making a difference. So who is a hero? Maybe it's a teacher or a mentor or someone who's dedicated to helping animals. Go to WYTV.com and click on Hometown Heroes under Community to nominate someone deserving. See a different hometown hero every Wednesday at 6, only on 33 WYTV. The world changes quickly, and the news that matters to you happens 24 hours a day, seven days a week. WYTV.com, your local news source, bringing you stories from across the Mahoning Valley. And with WYTV.com, all the information you need is in your hands no matter where you go. Your pinpoint forecast, the very latest news from across the community, and breaking stories, all in one place. WYTV.com, your home for community news. More than just great Q. Funny name, fabulous food. Barry Dingles, Austin Town. And welcome back to Struthers Fieldhouse. 27 24 is our score. Chad Krasminski, Will Klusenick back with you. Should be a very entertaining second half of basketball. As we take a look at what these two veteran head coaches have been able to do in terms of adjustments. John Grandy for Struthers and Ron Moschella for Columbiana. Here we go. Struthers ball to open things up immediately to Caleb Brown who gives to Chisholm. Chisholm able to draw the very, very quick foul on Cross. You know, across, you know, not wanting to give up the easy bucket, you know, put Struthers to the line. You know, and where Brown's shooting 54%. So the free throw is up and good. You know, Chisholm. Going to make him earn him. Chisholm averaging seven and a half points a game. And she can't put the second one in. Rebound down to Fulham for Columbiana. This is Maslovsky who scoops it up. It won't go. McDowell with the rebound for Struthers. Burry ahead of the pack to Buser. Buser slices her way in. Ball is out of bounds. And it'll go back the other way. Columbiana got lucky with that one. Yeah. Struthers, again, still looking to be aggressive, looking to attack. You know, Columbia, expect them to be a little bit methodical here, you know, and not really be in a hurry. You know, try to get cross in the interior there, maybe to square up, go a little one-on-one -on -one in that some type of isolation, or they're going to work their dribble drive a little bit. Ball is knocked free. Hammond ends up with it. She's to the line, to the lane, puts it up short. Cross cleans it up. Can't get that one to go in, and Trinity McDowell comes up with the rebound. She fires up ahead of the pack to Kiesia Chisholm. Now this is Burry up at the top of the key. Burry, such a gritty player. Pitches to Brown. Kayla Brown up to Buser. Nearly walked. Here's McDowell. Outside Burry into the paint. She scoops it up. And will go to the line and shoot two following the foul. And that's how Struthers started off in that first quarter, really got the high percentage shots. You know, really looked to attack the basket and starting that same way in this half. So Burry puts it in. Liggett, meanwhile, picked up her third personal. No, no. 
Murray puts it up and in. Very nice job there. So 30 to 24 is our score. Maslovsky over to Hammond. Feed it back onto the wing, top of the key. Here's cross left wing for three. Back of the rim, no good. And the rebound comes down to Chiesa Chisholm. Over the time stripe into the forecourt. It's Buser. They lob it underneath. That's an errant pass. Turnover. Hall has it knocked free from her grasp from behind. And Hall will stay here. And that's a real nice job by Brown of getting the back tap. And Hall doing an excellent job of, of pushing the ball down the floor. There's Fulham. Defended well by McDowell. There's a Struthers steal by Brown. Buser back to Brown. See what the Wildcats have in store on this offensive set. Buser right near that elbow. It went halfway down and it came back out. Here come the Clippers. Fulham to the line, to the lane, puts it up. Nope. Uh, the rebound to Buser. And Columbiana's dodged a bullet because they're still not matched up very well here. Burry has it ripped free from her grasp. It's out of bounds, off Columbiana. It'll stay with Struthers. And right now, Columbiana hasn't had a great look offensively. Not only down six, but this is where they struggled in the first half. Gave a couple easy buckets on the out of bounds plays. Ball is in towards McDowell, but it's knocked free. Hammond. Picks up the ball. She's trapped right along the sideline. Somehow works out of it. And we have a timeout called. It is a timeout called by Coach Michella. Coach Michella wanted one of those fake timeouts after he saw that his player bro broke free. Harriman does a nice job of not panicking. He says, timeout, timeout. No, no, no I didn't want that timeout. No, not, I didn't want that not timeout. Not really. He, he saw the layup. Right there, but again, look at him, and it's kind of no man's land. Yeah, here. yeah it, it could have been ugly right there, but again, uh, Dad probably real happy right there. You know, doesn't panic, knows that she's got her dribble, you know, sees what's happening, and really does an excellent job of, of bringing the ball down and breaking the pressure. You know, nice job for the sophomore. So 5:32 left in the third quarter. Boy, with the way this game started, it certainly did not look. Like this would be nip and tuck. That's just right where we are, though. That's, and we've had a lot of these games. And I'm, I'm real interested to see, you know, if can, Columbia can control the tempo a little bit. And they, they started to press a little bit, and they do a nice job of that when they make some buckets, you know, or, or from the free throw line. You know, and are they able to kind of control Struthers on the boards? Because that's where Struthers has a huge advantage right now. So out of the timeout, It will be Clipper ball. Hammond looking. And the ball is in. And then out. And now going in the other direction. Here's some of that pressure to try to create uh, some problems for Struthers. Kayla Brown ends up with it. And there's a reach in foul called on Taylor Hall of Columbiana. So Struthers basketball. It's Kayla Brown into the paint to the line to the lane. She puts it up and in. And Brown, right where she left off in that first quarter, attacks, finishes, high percentage. Up to eight now. Here's Fulham taking it baseline, feeding McDonough. Here's Cross right near that elbow, and she drilled it. That's great ball movement. Cross very comfortable with that foul line, knocks it in. Look at Burry, backdoor cut, puts it up over everything. It won't go. Off the miss, rebound down to the Clippers. Here's Mazalovsky. Great feed for Fulham, but great hustle, even better for Burry yeah, as she knocked it out of bounds. And I know that was one of those characteristics you said, just gritty gets after it, and that's outstanding hustle. And that's what you'd love to see 
you know, your teammates in a two-on-one situation, you get to the, the back player and, and get the deflection. Buser is back in for Struthers. Three ball up for Maslovsky. It won't go. And off the miss, it is Kayla Brown with it for Struthers. Brown spinning into the paint. Great athleticism, great quickness. She just wasn't able to finish. The other end, Eric Pass. Out of bounds. And back the other way to Struthers. You know, you like the idea of being aggressive and, and pushing it. Coach Michelle doesn't like the, the play or the pass. You know, big possession there. Uh, again, not a horrible idea. Just got to make a little bit better pass. Brown ahead of the pack to the line, to the lane. Puts it up off the rim, no good. And McDonough comes down with the rebound for Columbiana. Here's Hammond. It's 32-26. Hammond harassed defensively. And it's a jump ball. You know, one thing, Hammond can't pick the dribble up right there, but also teammates got to be available receivers and realize that she's in danger. <laughs> got to help her out. 4.17 left. McDonough with the ball. Into the corner, Liggett takes it baseline. Liggett puts it up off the bottom of the backboard. Struthers wants to run. Leonard to the line, to the lane, puts it up short. Cross with a rebound. Off and running is Hammond. And she draws the foul and will shoot two. I like Hammond's aggressiveness right now, looking to attack, you know, and, and she definitely has provided a spark here. We're going to see Fulham come back in uh, and get after it a little bit. Three minutes and 55 seconds left to play in the third. We will take time out and bring you back to the Struthers Fieldhouse after this on the WKBN High School Basketball Game of the Week. Shop 24-7 at StadiumGM.com where you can view the entire inventory. Find new roads to the best sales event of the year. It's Auto Show bonus time at the Stadium GM Superstore. Current Chevy lessees, you can save up to 32% on a new Chevy Cruze. That's a huge savings. You can lease a new double cab four-wheel drive Chevy Silverado for only $239 a month with zero down. And a new Chevy Equinox right now is only $249 a month with zero down. Plus, bring in your trade-in for more money than anywhere else. All at the store that always saves you more. The Stadium GM Superstore in Salem. Yeah, let me get uh, one of them there, Daybreaks. Len, I need a nugget of knowledge. How long? Well, we're finishing up right now. Coming up at 610. Fresh and on. Yeah. But make room for me. I'm up in 10 minutes. You'll never believe where I'm going. Oh, you got it. Oh, we got a breaking news update coming up. Uh, weather on the trees. Big changes for the weekend. Update is up in five minutes. But up next is Daybreak Nation on location. Have a great day. Their morning is busy just like yours, but they love serving you every day starting at 5 a.m. Daybreak! 32-26 is our score. So every week we'll pick the player of the game. It's one player that has made the greatest impact. It is sponsored by Nightline Embroidery and Screen Printing and will feature the player of the game every Monday night at 11 on WKBN 27 First News. As we welcome you back, Clippers at the free throw line. It is Grace Hammond. And Hammond can't put that one in. Here comes Burry for Struthers to the other end. Burry gives to McDowell. Here's Buser. Three ball in the air. Up. And it rattles in. Very kind bounce at the field house for the home team. Rubber rim for the Wildcats. It is 35-26. This is Cross, on the right side, Liggett. Liggett gives to McDonough. And now Hammond, who can hit the three ball. She now penetrates. This is to Cross for three, off the rim, no good. Buser comes down with the rebound, and it is ahead to Burry. Here's Kayla Brown, into McDowell. That one won't go, it's out of bounds. Off Struthers, back to the Clippers. And you can see right there, the opportunity for Struthers in transition. McDowell gets it at point blank, unable to finish. And again, Columbiana very 
Uh, very lucky there that they get that possession. But another big possession here for Columbiana. Got to have a good, high-quality shot at nine here. That was a big three last time down by Struthers. Ball is knocked out of bounds. It'll stay here with 247 remaining in the third. So it's into Fulham. Here's Cross backing in. Back outside to Fulham. There is Cross fake to three. Giving to McDonough. Here's Mazlovsky. Mazlovsky with great quickness as that one knocked free on the pass. Here's Kayla Brown to the line, to the lane. Puts it up. Nope. Ball is saved in. But the officials will say out of bounds. And it will stay right here with 2.22 left in the third quarter. That's one of the things as a player, you've got to make sure you, you coach and teach there. You don't want to throw it underneath your hoop. You want to try to drop it to the nearest corner, and that way all of your teammates know that, and they can meet you there. John Grandy will take a full timeout with 2.22 remaining. 35-26 is our score. And we've got a, a good one with you tonight, and we're going to have... A good one for you coming up on Wednesday as well of this week. We'll have more girls action for you. Salem and Poland facing off. It'll be a Valentine's Day special. You and I will get to spend Valentine's at least a couple of hours together watching some basketball. That's nice. I like that. 7 o'clock, we'll have it live on my YTV and also streaming live at WKBN.com and the WKBN mobile app. Girls action at its best. This time next week, we're breaking out the brackets for the girls' side. And sectionals will just about be in full swing or within a couple of days, middle of next week. You know, and you look at games like that with Salem and Poland, you know, those are the type of games you want to play later on in the season. And we talk about that all the time. You want these games to get yourself tournament ready to really see where you stand, and that's going to benefit both teams in the tournament. Same thing here tonight. Absolutely. Between Struthers and Columbiana. Buser looking. It's into Burry. Lobbing underneath. McDowell draws the foul. And there's the baseline out of bounds again by Struthers, able to get the shot that they need, and that's going to be the fourth on Leggett. But again, Chad, we talk about it, you know, Struthers not a great free throw shooting team, so you're going to send them to the line and make them work for the points. Good looking free throw stroke for McDowell. 41.3% is the free throw shooting percentage for McDowell. Second free throw. Not such a good end result. There's a takeaway by Brown. And we have a jump ball call. John Grandy was trying to call a timeout. So the ball is in to Kayla Brown. Over to Buser. Chisholm. Inside of two minutes left. Look at Burry. Nicely done. Maslovsky trying to answer back. Coast to coast. Up and in. More of the pace that Columbian is looking for. Down 10. Trying to fight their way back into it. They were down three at the half. 38-28 is our score. Chisholm. As it's abuser, here's McDowell inside the free throw line. This is Burry, another nifty take. Off balance, it doesn't matter. Just finding the crease, getting the finish. The lead is back to 12. Hall raises up short. Rebound, knocked around, out of bounds, back to Struthers. You know, and right when you thought you know, Columbiana could kind of crawl back into it. And they had some chances early on in this third quarter. You know, Struthers weren't, weren't getting the shots to fall. Made a couple mistakes. 
But right now, Columbia are going to try to pick up the tempo a little bit, maybe get a few points that way. Pass intended for Burry, but it's taken away by Liggett. Liggett feeds Maslovsky, who's shown the ability to hit the three ball. Pinball basketball out of bounds. Kind of a microcosm of the night for Columbiana. Yeah, that was one of those where, you know, you didn't really necessarily need the pass. Uh, kind of caught in no man's land. That's one that you need to have down 12. Buser thought about the three, now goes off the dribble, feeds it to Brown. Brown puts it up and in. That is fantastic. Could have taken a shot, but selected to make the better basketball decision and basketball play. Brown with the finish. 42-28 is our score. This is Cross feeding it back outside to Maslovsky. Maslovsky back to Fulham. End of the paint. Jump stop. Strong take. It won't go. McDowell with the rebound. Down to 15 seconds left. Alexis Burry with the ball. And now it's back out front to Buser. McDowell can't get that shot to go. Liggett with the rebound. And the third quarter is in the books. Eight minutes to play here at Struthers Fieldhouse. Struthers 42, Columbiana 28. Of the WKBN High School Basketball Game of the Week. Make the short drive to Stadium GM in Salem, Ohio to find your next vehicle. On sale now. Get a gift certificate to Iana's Owns Pizza in Niles for 50% off. Enjoy delicious pizza made from the freshest dough, perfectly blended cheese, and the best homemade sauce around. Iana's Owns doesn't just make great pizza. They also feature juicy wings, salads, and other specialty items. A perfect meal for lunch or dinner. Get this half-off deal with no fees right now at MyValleyDining.com. We have something for everyone. Amazing half-off deals. Sign up now for email notifications and start saving. I think any kid loves the fact that when there's snow, it's, oh, are we going to have school tomorrow? You know, as you become an adult, it's more of a concern for treacherous roadways. Black ice can be a concern. I need to help people be prepared. I need to make sure that they know when it's hitting, that they know how much to expect, and that they know the impacts on them. It can be dangerous. This winter, trust WYTV on air, online, and on your phone. Sponsored by Northern Ohio Honda Dealers, Dallas Hartman Attorneys at Law, and Groover Roofing and Siding. They're the classic American family with a twist. I raised a moron. I love you, Boopy. Oh, oh my no. god. Oh my god. But they're the family yeah. you can't help but love. Family takes care of family. This is what we do. The Goldbergs feel the love every weeknight. I got you, baby. Oh god, no, I don't. We can at 6:30 on my YTV. It's hard to pronounce and even harder to find anywhere in our area. I'm Lindsay Watson. Coming up tonight at 11, I'll tell you what this holistic remedy is and why it's so popular this flu season. Will there be history tonight at Jackson Milton? One Blue Jay star looking to set the new school record for points. Will she do it? Find out tonight. After a cool start to the work week, we're going to tap into some of this warmer air off to the south. We have much warmer temperatures coming. I'll show you what to expect tonight at 11. Struthers Fieldhouse, eight minutes to play. Struthers with a 42-28 lead over Columbiana. Clippers come out with the ball. Maslovsky feeds it back to Hall. Hall raises up, puts it up too strong. It won't go. Buser with the rebound for Struthers. You know, just as Columbiana finished on a 15-3 run, Struthers in that corner goes 15-4 to extend their lead and take control of this game. But we're going to see here with that deflection, you know, can Columbiana create some of that pace and a little bit of that magic that they had in that second quarter? Boy, they can score in a hurry. Columbiana's averaging just under 69 points a game. And they're going to have to pressure, double team, trap, and, and rotate. Because right now, Struthers, they're not, they're not going to get, you know, just start shooting them. And that's what's going to get them into trouble. But you've got to figure out what's a good shot and, and what you need to shoot. Maslovsky. Off the dribble, cut off at the baseline. Maslovsky back to Fulham. Here is Cross, firing three balls short. And the rebound down to Buser, who's been very active here in this second half. Burry with a great crossover. 
Cross court skip pass, Buser. Underneath, strong take. And that's Trinity Farrar who puts it up and in. And those are the type of shots that you like. Great high percentage shot looking to attack. Fulham, the long one from deep, unable to put it in. It's out of bounds. Farrar sits down. McDowell will come back in. Clipper ball with 6.36 to play in the contest. Liggett. Her entry pass is knocked towards the baseline again. McDonough will check in. Fulham sits down. Liggett looking. And lobbing it into Cross. Out to Liggett, who penetrates into the paint. Liggett flips it up. Off balance shot. Burry with the rebound for Struthers. Here's Brown. Underneath. Great look. And Renee Leonard stuck it in. And that's what they do well. Just so unselfish. Find the open teammate and finish. Maslovsky slithered her way in. And drew the foul. And if you're Columbiana, this is exactly what you want. Get yourself to the free throw line. Get some points while the clock is stopped. And that's going to be McDowell's second. So Maslovsky. 14 points and she'll stay there. She's connected on half of her free throw attempts. Leonard sits down for Struthers. 6.09 left. Maslovsky trying to split the pair. She misses short. So Burry brings it ahead. There's that pressure ratcheting up. Buser. They feed it to Caleb Brown underneath. McDowell put it up and in. Brown to McDowell. Unselfish, high, low. It's exactly the way you draw it up. Struthers clicking on all cylinders up 20. In the blink of an eye, that lead is up to 20. There's Cross for three. A little bit short. McDonough cleans it up. And is fouled by McDowell. That'll be the third on McDowell. Marissa McDonough brings great height to the floor for Ron Michella. This is any time there's a rebound that we need. She's the person that's going to grab it. That free throw up and good as Fulham is back in. Trinity Farrar is in for Struthers. McDowell will sit down with those three fouls. Buser looking. It's into Brown. Brown loses the handle out of bounds. Those are the kind of turnovers you can't have at this stage of the game. Yeah, you want to make sure you're, you're, you're sure with the ball. But nice job there by Cross, just getting a little deflection, getting the hand in there. And you can see the turnovers right there. Columbia with 15, Struthers with only seven. Cross finds a seam, and she too draws the foul. And this is where Struthers, excuse me, Columbia really needs to kind of take advantage of this. You're, you're getting some shots, getting some points while the clock is stopped. 519, you know, down 18. You know, and that's going to be the, the third on Brown. And Cross. It's the first one to fall, so you're gonna make the free throws, get yourself into pressure. You know, and, and Struthers right now, you know, looking to take some high percentage shots and, and maybe work the clock a little bit, but still need to be aggressive. So four team fouls per side. Ball is into Brown. I had to Chisholm. Chisholm will take it herself and put it up and in. And aggressive they are. Excellent job by Chisholm with the finish. 50 to 32. As we're three minutes into this fourth quarter. There's Cross. Over to Hall. Hall into the paint, gets the floater to go. Again, you don't necessarily just have to bomb threes. You look to attack. Farrar works it back to Buser. 
Usher towards Brown. There's a steal. An easy two for Kayla Maslowski. And that cuts it down to 14. This is how they got their run before. Burry into the paint is cut off. Perilously close to three seconds. Yep. There it is. And that's it. just, again, court awareness and recognition. Great job of, of not taking the shot while it's contested. You got rid of it. You got to get yourself out of there. 420 left in the game. Clippers with some work to do. Maslovsky has it over to Fulham. Long cross-court pass. Speaking of cross, she has it out to Hall. Hall fights it up and draws the contact and the foul. You know, and that's one of the things, as you play a little bit, McDowell's got to have that type of recognition, and that's going to be her fourth. You know, you got to go up, you got to contest. You can't bring that hand down. That's an easy call for the officials. And here we are again at the free throw line, looking to attack, and it's exactly what they need to do, but they got to capitalize and they got to make them. First free throw up off the back of the rim. Back in for Struthers. Trinity Farrar, along with Renee Leonard. Second free throw, rattles in, 50 to 37. There's an errant pass picked off by Cross. Cross gives to Fulham. There's Maslovsky back to Cross. Cross puts it up, and she draws the contact and the foul. So 3.56 left to play here in the fourth quarter. And it is 50 to 37 in favor of Struthers. But this one far from over. We'll bring you back for the exciting conclusion when we come back on the WKBN High School Basketball Game of the Week. Stadium GM only uses certified technicians and genuine replacement parts. Nightline Embroidery and Screen Print in Girard has been a proud sponsor of the Player of the Game for over 10 years. For all of your personalized school or business apparel, event and business signs and posters, they've got you covered. If there's only one place to go, Nightline, West Liberty Street, Girard. Radiation exposure in children carries a lifetime risk of cancer. To fix heart rhythm problems, what we're doing here lets us use GPS for the heart instead of radiation. If it's your child and you have a choice of the same procedure, the same outcome, but no radiation exposure and no long-term cancer risk, it's an easy choice. Nightline Embroidery and Screen Print in Girard has been a proud sponsor of the Player of the Game for over 10 years. For all of your personalized school or business apparel, event and business signs and posters, they've got you covered. If there's only one place to go, Nightline, West Liberty Street, Girard. Three minutes and 56 seconds left to play here in the ball game. It is 50 to 37 in favor of Struthers as we welcome you back. Clippers trying to cut into this 13-point deficit. Got to make those free throws, however. And that one is short. Off the fingertips of Alexis Cross, who earlier this season, back not too long ago, a couple of weeks ago, recorded her 1,000th career point. She missed a couple of free throws there, however. And Burry comes down with a rebound, but there's another Clipper takeaway. This is Hall to Mazlovsky, who puts it up and in. And there's the defense leading to offense. This is where Columbiana is at their best, when they're really getting after you defensively, making you play faster than you want to play. Ball is out of bounds. Back to Columbiana. Ever so closer to that line. <laughs> 50 to 39. Clipper ball. Maslovsky, a tremendous ball handler. Great defensive player, takes it to the rack. Mazlovsky fights it up and in. And timeout on the floor. Coach Michella calls his troops over. Now it's into single digits. Got to be impressed. 
with what Kayla Maslovsky has been able to do. And we still have 323 left. And that's great footwork. You know, that's what, you know, a lot of players, you know, don't realize, you know, it's, it's the footwork that gets you in position to be successful. You know, and right now, Columbia doing an outstanding job uh, of making Struthers play a lot faster than they want to. And I got to believe Columbia might have the upper hand here as far as, you know, getting Struthers to the foul line. And if you're Columbia, you've got to make sure that you make them work for every single bucket. If anything's in tight, you've got to make sure you foul them. Don't let them get it up. You know, don't let them get an opportunity for a three-point play. Make them earn everything that is going on. Kayla Maslovsky doing it all once again. 18 points for Columbiana. But the Clippers still trail it by nine. Here's Kayla Brown. Underneath. Foul called as Renee Leonard put it up, and she'll go to the stripe for two. And that's exactly what you want to do. You know, one of Struthers' better free throw shooters, though. 69.6% is Leonard at the line. That went off the rim. And that's why you make them earn it. But if you're Colombian and now you've got to make sure that you box out, you stop up the lane. You get the shooter, everyone's accounted for, and you go up and grab it. Free throw up. No good again. Rebound down to Columbiana's Liggett. This is Muzlovsky ahead of the pack, feeding it to Cross. Here's Hall. Top side Liggett. Full um firing three ball. That one a little bit short. Burry with the rebound for Struthers as we're inside of three minutes left to play in the fourth quarter. Struthers ball. Here's Buser. They give to Leonard. Leonard, off-balance shot. Somehow she got it to go. You said it, Chad. That's one of those where hits the bottom of the rim and, and gets up and goes in. 2.40 left in the fourth quarter. Liggett with the ball. Back outside to Muzlovsky. Around to the right side. She puts it up and in. Boy, her great first step, great finish. 52-43, Chisholm with the ball. They give it to Leonard. Leonard, back to Kayla Brown. And here's Buser, giving to Burry. Burry, Brown, Chisholm, back to Chisholm. Down to two minutes left. It's 52-43 in favor of Struthers. Burry. Gives to Leonard. They're expecting a foul, and there it is. A lot of time left at the, on that clock. You know, probably could have done that about 30 seconds ago, maybe a minute ago. And that's going to be the fourth. On Hall. On Hall. And you still got to get another one because now, you know, you're still not in the bonus yet. So you still got a foul here, and just time's clicking away. And Leonard is promptly fouled. It'll be a one and one free throw shooting situation. Cross picks up the personal. Number two on Cross. So Leonard to the line. Trying to make this a 10 point lead. No good. Fulham with the rebound as the ball Heads out of bounds. Hammond is back in. Here's McDowell coming back in for Struthers. And if Columbia ever uh, had a play here, they got to make sure that they can test. And Struthers has done an outstanding job of scoring in these situations. Ball poked up into the air. Mazlovsky tracks it down. Racing ahead of the pack. She puts it up and in. Plus the foul. She's been dynamite here in the last couple minutes, really getting to the hole, making sure she finishes strong. And there's the deflection by Cross. That's a big play in that situation. Maslowski, again, digs it out somehow. Says, I'm going to take this two-on-one and gets the finish. In traffic. And the foul. 
94 seconds left, free throw up, free throw good. 52-46, the plot thickens here at Struthers Fieldhouse. Kayla Brown into the paint, puts it up and in, plus the foul. And that's one of those situations, if you're gonna foul, you gotta make sure that ball doesn't get in the air. Third foul on Alexis Cross. As that one bounced on through is Kayla Brown. We'll try to complete the end one, and she's unable to do it. It's now an eight-point lead. Muzlovsky trying to cut it to six. Unsuccessful in that regard. Here is Burry. 1.13 left on this fourth quarter clock. Burry is fouled. It's Liggett picking up the personal, and I think that's her fifth. Yeah. Yep, it is. So McDonough's going to head to the scores table and check in. So Burry to the stripe. Sixty-seven. 0.3% is Burry's free throw shooting percentage. Yeah, Burry is ready. And she drilled it. A pretty confident stroke there. That's a nine point lead. A buck 13 left. Burry, ready. Aim, fire. Good. Leonard back, Burry sits. Clippers running out of time now. Yeah, 10 point lead here, minute 13. Struthers just needs to make sure they're not gonna foul, put people at the free throw line where the clock is stopped. Cross scoops it up. And there you have it. And there is the foul. It'll be Kayla Brown, I do believe. That'll be personal foul number four. So to the line, we'll step cross. And the free throw is up and good. Burry's coming back in. Leonard will sit back down. 66 seconds left. But the way these two teams get up and down the floor, you don't take anything for granted. Second free throw up and good. It's 56 48. Buser has it into Burry. Now this is Chisholm feeding it to McDowell. Puts it up short. McDonough with a rebound. Loose basketball out of bounds. And it'll go back to Columbiana with 58.4 seconds left. You know, Columbiana only has one timeout. Struthers has two timeouts right now. Again, same situation if you're Columbiana. You've got to look to score quick. Uh, and possibly use that timeout. Shot off the mark, off balance, defended well. Struthers has it, and there's a Columbiana foul. It's cross. That'll be the fourth on cross. And Struthers gets a, a little bit of a breather. It's now going to be two shots. Brown puts it up and in, and her big night continues. And that'll make it nine, 57-48. And it is back to a 10-point lead. Cross for the Clippers to Fulham, who scoops it up. Off the rim, no good, big time rebound for Trinity McDowell. And we have a Struthers timeout called with 34.7 seconds left. You know, and Columbiana has a lot you know, that they can take away from this game that's positive. They, they played well in spurts, you know, but had again, too many lulls. But I think that had a lot to do with Struthers and the type of team they are as well. As far as what 
lies ahead for both of these squads. Columbiana will next be in action when it really matters. That's in the sectional final. They'll face the winner of Girard and Ridge. Meanwhile, Struthers, on the other hand, will be back to action uh, against Liberty. And then it's on to the sectional final against the winner of Hubbard and Mooney. Hard to believe tournament is here. Yeah, it's amazing how fast the season goes. And then you hope that you're playing your best basketball in February and March. So 34.7 seconds left. Struthers ball. Buser to trigger. Pass is picked off by Maslovsky. Maslovsky into the paint, puts it up and in. Twenty-nine. Make that twenty-eight point two seconds left. Those are the turnovers that can't happen. Those are the turnovers that can't happen. And not a great screen. You know, and when you shape up away from the ball like that, and you can see that's a long cross-court pass. That's an easy one for Oslowski. She does a great job of reading that. And then, and as she's done all night, attack and finish and puts this game at an eight-point game. And for Struthers, this is, again, another great opportunity to try to figure out a way to close out games. You know, you've got to shoot free throws down the stretch. We talked about it. Tournament tune-up. Exactly what you're getting here. These are the situations you'll be in. So many of those tournament games go right down to the wire. Buser to trigger it in for Struthers. It is in to Kayla Brown. And Brown is fouled. And that was a great screen by Brown. That's exactly what you need to do on the press breaker. Sets a solid screen and then shapes up, rolls back, uses the body to stay in front of the defender. But now she's got to go to the free throw line. You can see the little nudge right there by Hall, I believe. Or, or Fulham, they're going to give that to. And Brown steps up calmly and knocks it in. That's the fourth on Fulham. Back to a nine-point lead. Off the miss, Fulham with the rebound. Inside of 20 seconds left, Maslovsky puts it up and in. 59-52, ball is into Chisholm, ahead to Brown, and there's a Columbiana foul. With 12 ticks left. You know, and you try to simulate these kind of free throws. You know, you've got two shots. Get yourself to the free throw line and where Chisholm can step up and calmly knock them down. Which she just did. 60 to 52. Chisholm, ready, aim, fires, good. Brings it to nine. Inside of 10 seconds left, Fulham gives to Maslovsky. Here is Hall, and Hall will trigger and miss the three ball, and with that, the ball game is over. Final score in this one here tonight, it is Struthers 61, Columbiana 52. Our postgame coverage gets underway when we come back. You're watching live coverage of the WKBN High School Basketball Game of the Week. Apply now for a no-obligation car loan at StadiumGM.com. It's the best sales event of the year. It's Auto Show bonus time at the Stadium GM Superstore. Right now, you can lease a new double cab four-wheel drive GMC Sierra for only $189 a month with zero down. A new Buick Encore is only $199 a month with zero down. A new GMC Terrain is only $229 a month with zero down. And a new GMC Acadia is only $239 a month with zero down. Plus, bring in your trade-in for more money than anywhere else. All at the store that always saves you more. The Stadium GM Superstore in Salem. 
Austin Town Pond is proud to have been part of your community for over 20 years. It's tax refund time, and they want to help you stretch your dollars. Don't be afraid to buy used merchandise. Come see their large selection of TVs, laptops, tools, musical instruments, and electronics. The jewelry store upstairs has a constantly changing inventory of new and used items. There's sure to be something to catch your eye. Why pay retail prices? Stretch your tax money at Austin Town Pond on Mahoning Avenue. And visit their eBay store at Austin Town Pond for even more deals. Helping our valley lead healthier lives. Join me, WYTV's Jim Loboy, at the Red Party Heartball, benefiting the American Heart Association. It's a night of dinner, dancing, and live entertainment. Saturday, February 24th at the Metroplex Expo Center. Get your tickets at youngstownheartball.heart.org. We'll celebrate lives like ours, touched by cardiovascular diseases and stroke. Be a part of the solution at the Red Party Heart Ball, February 24th. Is he cute or am I just wearing horny goggles? Yeah. He made the Dean's list. Oh, honey, did you sleep with the Dean? I didn't have to. I'm smart. Kids need space. Take it from me. Is that why I didn't see you my entire sophomore year? You're welcome. Mom, weeknights at 7.30 on My Y TV. And welcome back to historic Struthers Fieldhouse, where the Wildcats have just polished off a 61-52 victory over the Columbiana Clippers. The Wildcats are now 18-3. Hi again, everybody. Chad Krispinski, so pleased to be joined by our player of the game, Kayla Brown, who finishes with 20 points and four rebounds. And congratulations, first of all, on a huge win. This was sort of like a tournament tune-up for you guys against a very, very good Columbiana team. What does a win like this mean for you here at Struthers? We just got to get ready for the next game. We played our hearts out this game. Together we did as a family. What is it about this group that has allowed you guys to have so much success? Of course, we saw you back at Poland in a very emotional win against the Bulldogs. But with all the weapons that you have yourself, you have great post play, you have great shooters and ball handlers. What is it about this group that has allowed you guys to have so much success? We love each other. We play with together. Our love brings us together. What was the difference here tonight? Because it was a game of runs. You guys got off to the really fast start, then they made their little run, and every time they got a little bit closer, you guys made another run and then took care of business when you needed to. Yeah. What was the difference here tonight? We had more hustle. We kind of lost it and became like second quarter, but we got back. We had to slow things down. Came together after Coach Granny talked to us. What are your expectations in tournament play? Of course, you've got another regular season game, and and then it's on to sectionals, and, and then it's all for real, and it's win or go home. What are your expectations as a team for what you'll be able to accomplish in tournament play? We just got to go harder. We're not going to be satisfied. We're going to go all the way to the top. Well, congratulations on a great performance here tonight. Best of luck in tournament play. Thank you. That's Kayla Brown, 20 points, 4 rebounds, helping Struthers to a 61-52 victory over Columbiana. When we come back, we'll visit with the Wildcats head coach that comes your way next. You're watching live coverage of the WKBN High School Basketball Game of the Week. Stadium GM is proud to sponsor the High School Basketball Game of the Week. If it's not Barry Dingles, it's not barbecue. Funny name, fabulous food. Barry Dingles, Raccoon Road, Austin Town. Michael Winslow is the king of Sorry. beatboxing. And the king of low-cost insurance is Insurance King. Drive legal for less. Double Auto Show bonus cash is back at Sweeney. Choose from over 1,500 vehicles. You can save up to 25% off MSRP on the 18 Chevy Silverado. 25% off MSRP for everyone. Save 25% off MSRP on any Silverado double cab and crew cab. Double Auto Show bonus cash is back. Click SweeneyCars.com or stop by Sweeney Chevrolet Buick GMC. On Market Street in Boardman. Sweeney. 
The world changes quickly, and the news that matters to you happens 24 hours a day, seven days a week. WYTV.com, your local news source, bringing you stories from across the Mahoning Valley. And with WYTV.com, all the information you need is in your hands no matter where you go. Your pinpoint forecast, that very latest news from across the community, and breaking stories all in one place. WYTV.com, your home for community news. More than just great Q. Funny name, fabulous food. Barry Dingles, Austin Town. And we are inching ever closer to tournament play. Another pretty darn good regular season game. Girls action tonight. Struthers holding on for a 61 52 victory over the Columbiana Clippers. Hi again, everybody. Chad Krasminski, so pleased to be joined by the victorious head coach, John Grandy. And coach, first of all, second time we were able to see up close and personal and yeah. another great performance. What was the difference here tonight in the end with why your team was well, able to come out on top? I thought we uh, took care of the ball against their pressure for the most part. There was times we got crazy, you know. Uh, I thought in that second quarter, I coached the second quarter up pretty good, you know what I mean? They they knew when Michelle, and he's good. He just doggone good. And the kids were from Columbiana were all over us, but I'm trying to hold it a little bit instead of let's go, let's go, let's go. And uh, maybe I, you know, tried to hold back the reins a little bit. And that might have hurt us. And uh, I was just proud of our kids, the way they took control and got to get the ball, you know, go get the ball and then go from there and see what happens. How can a game like this help you with what lies ahead in tournament play? because there are situations that come up and obviously you're facing a pretty darn good team as well. Yeah, we're playing, uh, like I said, a good team today. And uh, the pressure that Columbiana gives us is as good as any division two, three, four, whatever division, you know, you're looking at. They are they are gonna get pressure on you. And uh, that w when we started the game, we started with good passing. And then when you double team, someone's open. So boom, boom, layup, you know. And then after a while, they said, no, we're not going to let you do that anymore. And, and then we missed a couple. Then, uh, you know, the sky's falling. Everybody gets nervous. But uh, we were able to hold on and, and do what we had to do. Coaches always want to be playing their best basketball when tournament time rolls around. I know you have one more regular season game to go. But do you feel like your group is playing its best basketball at just the right time? Well, I don't think we've seen our best game. But I, I do think that we are getting better. And that's what we ask them to do. And we're playing tomorrow. So... You know, too much time. We just got to go back and go to work again. And uh, our kids work hard. I really thought uh, Kayla, like I said, played a great game. But there were other ones, and I know you talk about them all the time. Burry, unsung hero, taking over. Trinity McDowell, a little under the weather today. Renee Leonard, a little bit under the weather. She comes off the bench. Trinity Ferrara off the bench. Uh, Scooter Buser, Scooter Buser, I can't say enough. She just picks up a ball here or there, makes a three-pointer that bounces five times. Yeah. Goes in, big three-pointer. And uh, uh, as we go down the list there, and Kiesha Chisholm, she's just lock it down, you know, play the defense. So I'm real proud. I hope I didn't leave anybody out. But those are the seven that we've been busting our tails with, and they're doing a good job, and I'm, I'm blessed to be here. So, suffice to say, you have a very, very good basketball team, yes. and we wish you all the very best here in tournament oh, th play. Thank you so much for covering girls basketball. You guys do a great job, and uh, nobody was out coached today. Absolutely. Michelle is great, and uh, my girls play hard, though. Coach, it was a lot of fun to watch. Best right. of luck to thank you. Thank you. Thank you. That's the head coach of the Struthers Wildcats, John Grandy. As Struthers comes away with a 61-52 victory over the Columbiana Clippers. When we come back, we'll put the finishing touches on this one. Struthers gets another victory. The Wildcats are now 18-3. Good luck to all area teams from Stadium GN, proud sponsor of the Game of the Week. The majesty of South Korea, its rich history and vibrant culture whose contributions and influence are felt throughout the world. Join us as we explore the wonders of this Asian destination, the exotic foods, the awe-inspiring architecture, and how this ancient kingdom has survived to become a focal point on this world stage. Watch Destination South Korea, Saturday night at 11.30 on 33 WYTV. Sponsored by Boardman Subaru and Trip Chiropractic and Nutrition. Celebrate one of TV's greatest hits. Hey, I'm in. With the funny, they're really packs of fun. 
Whoever's right gets to slap the other person in the face as hard as they possibly can. And that's not a backhanded compliment. Oh. So get slap happy with the gang. It's already slap o'clock. Hey, hold on. Whoa, whoa, wait. Wow. But are you going to cry? You're going to cry. How I Met Your Mother. Weekdays at 4 on MyYTV. 33 News is looking to celebrate the people who help make our community a better place to live. And we need your help to find people throughout the valley that are making a difference. So who is a hero? Maybe it's a teacher or a mentor or someone who's dedicated to helping animals. You go to WYTV.com and click on Hometown Heroes under Community to nominate someone deserving. See a different hometown hero every Wednesday at 6, only on 33 WYTV. On the street. These days, just putting the uniform on, you're a target. Police, don't move! Put your hands in the back of your head right now! In the courtroom. This ADA has a duty, a license, and the full support of the rule of law. At the helm. To Commissioner Francis X. Reagan. I'm asking you to help me find the truth. They are NYPD's finest family. You serve proudly. Blue Bloods. Saturdays at 11 on MyYTV. Well, we tipped off our triple header in fine fashion on this Monday night. A couple of really good girls basketball teams facing off. Struthers coming away with a 61-52 victory over the Clippers from Columbiana. Hi again, everybody. Chad Krispinski alongside Will Klusenik. Well, two of the better teams, two of the better performances. You know, I think both teams can take something out of this positive. You know, Struthers you know, talked about it fighting through some illnesses. You know, just trying to get through this regular season. You know, and, and Columbiana, you know, they played well in spurts, you know, and, and just had too many lulls, you know, when they needed to get a couple of those extra buckets. But Columbiana doesn't quit, and they're going to be a handful in their tournament as well. You said it earlier, both of these teams are going to be better for having taken part in a game like this. Yeah, and that's what you want, those type of tournament atmosphere, tournament experiences where you've got to make some of those free throws down the stretch. You've got to make plays. And those little things really matter at this time of the year. Let's take a look at our final box score. And we had some huge performances here tonight. Of course, our player of the game, Kayla Brown, coming up with 20 points. Kiesia Chisholm with a dozen. Trinity McDowell, 10 rebounds, 8 points, 4 big blocked shots. Kayla Maslovsky with another monster night, 29 points in a losing cause for the Clippers. And Alexis Cross in double figures likewise with 13 points. Columbiana. Drops to 20 and 2 on the campaign. Struthers improves to 18 and 3. The Clippers now advance to tournament play, and Struthers will have one more regular season contest, and it will be against Liberty coming up tomorrow night. So we hope you've enjoyed this special Monday night presentation of the WKBN High School Basketball Game of the Week. We'll greet you again Wednesday night from over at Poland. More girls action. Salem at Poland should be a lot of fun at 7 o'clock. For my broadcast partner, Will Klusenik, and all of us here at WKBN, my name is Chad Krispinski telling you once again the final score. Struthers 61, Columbiana 52. Till next time, so long everybody from Struthers Fieldhouse. Hi everybody, mm -hmm. I'm Dr. Strino. Did you bring your heart with you today? It's in here. It's in there? Breathe in real deep. Wow, let me listen to that tummy. <laughs> let me check your hands, make sure they don't fall off. <laughs> That's all good. Girl, can you fall out? Okay. How about a fist bump? Wow. Thanks, guys.